Good morning. Welcome to the Frederick W. Hartnett Middle School Annual Induction Ceremony of the National Junior Honor Society. My name is Mrs. Finnegan and it is, I am the National Junior Honor Society Advisor. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the 2023 and 2024 new inductees to you, as well as saying farewell to our current members. I would like to take a moment and say thank you to all the parents and guardians who provide support, guidance, love, and encouragement to all of these students. Because of your hard work and commitment, you are here to celebrate your student this morning. I would also like to thank our teachers, administrators, and staff for their contributions and unwavering dedication to our students. I hope you enjoy the program. Stand and please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dr. DeFalco, Ms. Catillo, Ms. Finnegan, members of the faculty, parents, and students. Welcome to the 2023 National Junior Honor Society Induction Ceremony. 
We have gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our NJHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. National Junior Honor Society is a national organization to recognize individual student ach academic achievement. The first chapter was established in Webster Groves High School in Missouri. The NJHS was established to create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate desire to render service, to promote leadership, to encourage responsible citizenship, and to develop character in the students of secondary schools. NJH NJHS chapters are found in all 50 states, U.S. territories, and around the world. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 1995, and with today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter served as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which established the eligibility for membership, our chapter's members are leaders in many organizations and serve our school and community through many activities, including raising awareness over mental health, providing care packages for military and those who are impacted by cancer, to cleaning up our school's properties and walking to raise money for our music program here at BMR, just to name a few of our endeavors this year. Approximately $3,000 was raised through these service learning projects to better our schools and community. We are proud to record our accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy and support of our continuing work as NJHS members. This year as a chapter, we have, co we have completed over 210 hours of service to our community in the four quarters of the school year. With the induction of these new members, we are confident that this commitment to our school and community will continue to be strengthened. Our NJH NJHS would like to welcome our guest speaker, BMR High School Principal Jill Fallis, to give a few remarks. Good morning. I'm gonna try and do this without. Clover's font was this big and mine is like this, like you could read it from here. <laughs> so thank you very much for inviting me here today to speak to you on this very special occasion. I know we are all looking forward to summer and some time off, but I thought it would be important for you to think about something for the next school year whether you're at the beach or at the pool or reading a good book in the AC. So here's some of my thoughts. I know you're all familiar with our five C's, right? Yes? Good answer, they're shaking their head. Good. But I want to give you some other C's to consider. These C's will allow you to either assimilate seamlessly into the high school community or lead as eighth graders. So the first C is culture. I want, to ask, I want you to ask yourself, what type of community do you want to be a part of? What does being a member of BMR mean to you? As student leaders, you have a significant impact on the culture of a school, a community, a friend group, or a family. We all know how hard it is trying to decide where to have dinner and you've got the one person in the family who doesn't want to go where everybody else wants and the evening is ruined. That same thing can happen in a school, in a classroom, in a friend group. So I want you to be intentional about the decisions you make in creating the culture that you want to see in your school. You have the power to influence the outcome and what it feels like to attend Blackstone Millville Regional. The next C is one of my favorites, and that's curiosity. If you came into my office right now, you would see a post-it note that says, lead with curiosity on it. It's something that I try to do every day. 
As principals, you may think we know all of the answers. And while we would like to, we don't. It is necessary for us to ask questions. It's necessary for you to ask questions, and not just questions in the classroom. Questions about your surroundings and the people who share your space. There are many, many people that I have a lot in common with, but there are others who I don't. And instead of thinking negatively or assuming I know, I don't. I lead with curiosity. This curiosity opens new opportunities, new friendships, new experiences. This curiosity will help you with the first C I mentioned and create that culture that you want to be a part of. The last C is probably the most important to me, and that C is being a charger for life. No matter where you go, where life takes you, you have been grounded in what it means to be a charger for life. All of our five C's, all of the pillars of the Junior National Honor Society can be summarized in that small phrase of Charger for Life. Show up as your best self each and every day. Struggle through adversity and know that Chargers, we do hard things and that's okay. Hard things make us stronger. So be that Charger for Life. I want to congratulate the new inductees as well as our current members of the Junior National Honor Society. I know hard work and perseverance provided this opportunity for you, and I wish you continued success, and I look forward to those of you who will be joining me, either in the academy or in the high school halls. Congratulations. Thank you for those wonderful words. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Frederick W. Hartnett Middle School Chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with scholarship. Scholarship denotes com a commitment to learning. A student will, is willing to spend hours in reading and studying, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even, even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read past, the torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. Our office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. 
I would like to leave you all with one final quote from Mahatma Gandhi. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. A leadership quote I found and wanted to share with you is, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way, John Maxwell. This quote shows how a leader charts their own path and also guides others to find theirs. A leader always does the right thing even if it's hard. Leaders always encourage others to do their best. And finally, leaders always are needed and wanted not only in the school and NJHS, but in the world because leaders will always make a positive difference. Character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is a product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example we value character. Citizenship. We represent citizenship, the obligations each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedom and rights that have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of the chapter, are called to live up to the highest standards of citizenship from this day forward. Before we induct our new members, I want to spend a little bit of time and talk about the membership that I had the pleasure of spending the school year with. Commitment, dedication, 
imagination are only just a few words that come to my mind when I think of these students. As a first year advisor, I wasn't really sure how this would go and how they would demonstrate all of the pillars of NJHS. But once I had the opportunity to spend time with them and get to know them, all of those concerns melted away. This is a group of students who were active participants, organically embraced each of these pillars, and did it with a sense of fun, bringing excitement to their school community. Even though we worked together and collaboratively as a group, they were certainly individuals in their own right. Ella, our secretary, kept copious notes, kept us on target, and there was never a detail that wasn't missed. Caleb and Casey worked together to ensure that our service learning hours were met, and they never shied away from giving very important reminders to the membership of when those service learning hours were due. Clover, I'm not sure you really slept. Her mind constantly was filtering ideas of how we could fundraise, um, raise awareness for our community, and just do things at a higher level. She provided this membership with a strong sense of leadership and guidance, and will surely be missed. Cody was our best salesman by far. Anytime we had a fundraiser, if there was anything left over, all we needed to do was send him out to the crowd, and he came back with pockets full of money. I don't know how he did it, but I see a great career for you, Cody. Through the service learning projects, I saw how important the seniors were to Kevin, and how proud he was of himself to have made an impact on a very important group of people in our society and how important it was for Braden to address the issue of food insecurity in our community. Between Kevin, Braden, they were able to donate over 100 pieces of food to the Franklin Food Pantry and raise $469 to celebrate St. Patrick's Day for the seniors. I think that is a pause worthy. Jacqueline, Jacob, and Jocelyn wore their hearts on their sleeves in understanding the need to take care of homeless, cancer patients, and children. All important components in the needs of our community. Ava and Anna stay close to home to support the local churches and keep our music program going in B at BMR with a walk for music. Providing reflection on how these experiences were supported by their family members and why it was important to them. I believe with my whole heart that this group of students will make a tremendous impact on the world. High school will just be the beginning of where they will still change for the better, and we need you to do that. To the membership that is leaving, thank you for making this year so enjoyable, fun, exciting, and a learning experience for me. In closing, the school year comes to a close and you all make your way to high school, I would like to leave you with this quote. I wish you the strength to face challenges with confidence, along with the wisdom to choose your battles carefully. I wish you adventure on your journeys and may you always stop and help someone along the way. Listen to your heart. Take risks carefully and remember, how much people care about you. It is time now for you all to fly, and fly while you will. Thank you. At this time, will the new inductees please rise, raise your right hand, and repeat the pledge. The audience can follow as you want. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected 
I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Thank you, you may be seated. And now, as your name is called, please step forward onto the stage to receive your tokens of membership. Raiden Brosnan. Lily Charette. Connor Cummings. Ava Doyen. Lila Favreau, Brendan Folster, Dana Francis Drakett, Alexia Graham, Jake Greenstein, Jameis Greenstein, Sarah Karenzik, Joseph Lafayette, Hannah LaRiviere, Hannah Lockwood, Maura McCourt, Natalia Morius, Carter Pacheco, Garrett Posnanski, Hunter Savard, Brianna Ortiz Sacco, and James Tebow. The changing of the guard by definition represents a situation in which an individual or group charged with a task is replaced by another individual or group. It's time to recognize and welcome the new guard of the 2023-2024 NJHS school year. Serving in the position of service learning coordinator, is Maura McCoy. Serving as treasurer is Hannah Lockwood. <laughs> Serving as secretary, Brianna Ortiz Sacco. <laughs> Vice President, James Tebow. And the new president for the 2023-2024 NJH, NJHS school year is Brendan Folster. BMR, 
you know that we strive to live by the five C's. Character, citizenship, collaboration, communication, and critical thinking. NJHS promotes their five pillars, scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. It's not hard to see the connection. Two of the pillars, character and citizenship, are a direct overlap. The NJHS pillar of scholarship dovetails nicely with critical thinking. Leadership requires communication and collaboration. So it's easy to see that being a good BMR student aligns beautifully with the values of the National Junior Honor Society. The thing that makes NJHS stand out to me is service. National Junior Honor Society members conceptualize and execute service projects. This year, you've heard about the service projects we've done. The ones that come to mind for me are the clothing drives, feminine product collections, solicitations for supplies for the food pantry. Our students rose to the challenge of service and you represented BMR very well. New members, I would like you to start thinking now about your service project. How will you serve your community? While you're thinking, remember, service doesn't have to be collecting money or supplies. I encourage you to give back by sharing your gifts with the world. And if you don't think you have a gift, I guarantee that the seniors at the Senior Center would love for you to show them how you navigate that phone so easily. Do you love to read? Maybe you could organize a crew of middle schoolers to be guest readers at Millville. I challenge you to use your scholarship and critical thinking skills to find new and creative ways to make our community better by sharing your own special something with all of us. Students, congratulations on earning this recognition. I look forward to learning from each of you next year. Well done. Thank you, Ms. Catillo. Could you now please welcome our superintendent, Dr. DeFalco, who will offer a few remarks to the new members. Good morning. Can everybody hear okay? And then we had a little technical issue at the beginning. Thanks for your patience with that. Uh, I'm Jason DeFalco, superintendent of BMR. Uh, and I have to tell you, this is one of my most favorite uh, events each year because we get to not only celebrate our outgoing uh, Junior National Honor Society members, but we also get to celebrate our incoming members. Uh, and all the amazing work that, uh, that they will do is still ahead, and we look forward to seeing that. Um, I would also, though, like to thank Ms. Finnegan. Um, while this seamlessly uh, went off this morning, I know Ms. Finnegan has put a lot of time, effort, and energy uh, into our students and to helping them um, really step up and fulfill those five pillars. So if we could give Ms. Finnegan a round of applause, please. I would also like to thank the administration, Ms. Catillo and Dr. Laporte. Uh, there is a lot of behind the scenes work that happens to make sure that um, the support is in place so that our students can do all of the fundraising and all the other service learning activities uh, that happen throughout the school year. So a big round of applause for our administration. And uh, parents, guardians, friends, loved ones, it's so great to see all of you here uh, because our students would not be here without your love and support. So students, if you could please give your families a round of applause and a big wave and a thank you. So as we move forward, I'm very excited to see what our exiting members are going to do next. Uh, many of these students were members of our academy and have had an opportunity to already experience what BMR has to offer. And I cannot wait to see them continue to thrive in the areas of scholarship, service, 
leadership, character, and citizenship. And know that there is a chapter of the high school National Honor Society awaiting you. Um, and more incredible things for you uh, to come in terms of service. And I would agree with everything that's been said so far this morning about service being one of the most important pillars of the five pillars because it is all of our responsibilities to help lift each other and make each other's lives better uh, through service. And to our new members, um, you've got big shoes to fill. If you look over at our friends across the way here, I know many of these individuals and they have worked tirelessly and I know that you will too, and I cannot wait to see you hard at work. So congratulations, and onward and upward. In closing, I would like to thank our advisor, Ms. Finnegan, our principal, Ms. Cotillo, our superintendent, Dr. DeFalco, and all of our current members for their hard work in organizing this year's induction ceremony. Please join me in thanking them with a round of applause. Thank you all for attending our NJHS induction ceremony. In just a moment, new inductees will recess, after which you are all invited to join us in the Media Center for light refreshments and photos. But before doing so, please join me once again in applauding all of our new Honor Society members. Thank you, and now will everyone please stand as our newest members of the National Junior Honor Society recess.